everybody. It's Missy Wolf, and we're here at CMA Fest with Brett Kissel. How are you? I'm excellent, Missy. Thanks for letting me back in the chair here Absolutely. for another year. Thank I you. know. Can you believe it's already been a year? I can't believe it. I was looking through my timeline, obviously, on, on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, <laughs> and it literally feels like it was only a couple of months right. ago, and I don't know what it is or why time is starting to fly by so fast yeah. but I wish it would slow down I, I wish it would too and your babies I love watching them on <laughs> social you. media I love when you post you, you have been all over social media you've mm -hmm. been doing so many things this last year seems like it was like crazy busy for you it was and I, I wouldn't have it any other way I mean I didn't think that we'd be busier in 2019 than we were in 2018 because we yeah. toured so much last year but um, the amount of travel that we've done this year has been extraordinary uh, I just got back from Europe a couple days ago oh in gosh. France and Italy Switzerland uh, <laughs> the UK um, but coming here to Nashville is great because even though it's a busy week and everyone you'll speak to talks about how busy it is right. it's still a slower pace being in Tennessee, <laughs> it is. being a, a Canadian and coming out here to the South, people really take their time to mm -hmm. nurture relationships and have fun and just smell the roses. Yeah. I noticed that about this state yeah. and maybe even about the culture in, uh, here in the South, which is why we love living here. Absolutely. I love it here too. And you know, I'm from California and everything is so much faster, busier. Yes. You don't have downtime. It's no. like, you just got to keep booking your schedule. And it's just, it's crazy. When I came out here, it's like, oh my gosh, I can actually sit on the couch for five minutes. You know well, what exactly. I mean? It's crazy. I mean, as songwriters, we, we write about, um, and a lot, a lot of my pals that live here and have mm -hmm. grown up here in the South, well, you know, they talk about front porch picking and, and rocking on the on the yeah. front porch or the back porch or the rocking chair. It's a way of life, and it's very, very special to yeah. talk to my family back home who live a very fast-paced lifestyle yes. um, in Alberta, Canada, and say, here in the South, it's it's different, and it certainly yeah. is special. Now, does your family make it out here to visit you a lot, or no? Uh, I, I wish they did more often, that's for oh, okay. sure, but uh, they don't. I mean, we're, uh, what, it would be probably... 3,000 miles away yeah so it's a it's a hell of a drive it is <laughs> um, and now you know it's uh, flying my my grandparents I'm very close to uh, you know my grandfather's in his 80s and um, you know my, my grandma is yeah, they're both full of uh, a lot of energy that's yeah. for sure but I think their traveling days are limited um, they did come to see me play when I debuted on the Grand Ole Opry, which was oh, extremely special. Oh, that's so special. special. Um, not only them, but about 300 people from my hometown came down. So wow. we had half the Grand Ole Opry house <laughs> were Canadians, and it was extremely special. So they'll come down for the big shows. How did you work that? Did you, like, tell the people, okay, we, we need to reserve this many seats so they can all sit together? <laughs> they didn't believe it. Um, so we <laughs> talked to the Opry. So my aunt, she's a travel agent, and okay. uh, we, we worked with a radio station called 840 CFCW in Edmonton as well as 650 WSM right and we said this is how we're you know this is what we want to do and uh, we're gonna need to reserve some tickets because you know we did a pre-sell and it went really yeah. well like okay that's great yeah we can put you in an artist uh, section we could get you about a dozen tickets I'm like oh no 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 we need um, yeah we need about 20 times 12 we need like 300 tickets and they're like uh, seriously like yeah we need well right. minimum 240 up to 300 tickets and the Opry said we've never done that before I'm like well can we do it? Uh, yeah, we'll do it. So we wow. basically bought out the Grand Ole Opry so I could play my two songs on the oh, Opry. Wow. And the only other artist to ever have that many people come down um, was Tennille Towns, who's also from Alberta, Canada, and a very good friend of mine. So, wow. Uh, us Canadians, when yes, we start you, doing well in Nashville, uh, right? we support each other. I think that is fantastic. What a neat story, yeah. too. And every oh my God, they all just must have had fun. Did you guys all go out and celebrate afterwards? Oh, did we ever? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any beer left on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So, what are you working on now? I mean, I know you're here at CMA Fest and you're ready for all the festivities, mm -hmm. but what do you got going on? Well, right before CMA Fest or right before our, our trip to Europe. Um, and following CMA mm -hmm. Fest, uh, we're pressing play and pressing record on uh, on a new record. Nice. It's the, one of the most exciting times for an artist is to go and uh, try out new music in the studio. Yeah. I've been writing up a storm, uh, some of the best music I think I've ever written in my life. And I'm very excited oh. to bring that to the people. Uh, we're hoping the beginning part of 2020. Okay. That's up to the record label to yeah. truly decide. Yeah, I've got my ideas and my plans, but I just need to do my work, get mm -hmm. in the studio and produce the music I think that everybody's going to love as much as I love. All right. Well, where can fans <clears throat> find you for more up-to-date information on everything you got going on? Well, you know what? It's uh, well, it's social media. My Instagram, yep. uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, I'm on Snapchat. It's a little bit more private because <laughs> I'm kind of a an idiot on Snapchat. But uh, other than that, uh, follow me on uh, on Instagram, and I, okay. I try to keep it classy. There you go, guys. He's keeping it classy, and you just don't do Snapchat. I don't do it either. 
It's all good. We're, we're not the Snapchat people. Well, every now and then, by accident, I post something to my story, which is public, and uh, I get a lot of feedback because I'm, yeah. oh man, can I ever be dumb on can Snapchat? Can I just tell you, be careful with giving your phone to your kids if you have the Snapchat app. Oh. Yeah, my little boy, he <clears throat> he he sent stuff to people, and I was getting all kinds of feedback oh, and had no funny. idea what he sent. See, I, I haven't done that because my kids aren't quite old enough, yes. but some of my cousins love to prank me. So be if careful. I leave uh, if I leave my phone <laughs> unlocked, they'll I mean, and they'll do some stuff that yeah. um, I'm not gonna say it could damage my career, but uh, I got a few calls from the record label or the publicist <laughs> saying. What did you just post? I'm like, it's a prank. I, I damage control, damage control. <laughs> Anyways, w won't get into it. All right, guys. Well, you heard him. And for more fun and great music, check him out. And until next time, we'll see you soon.